It's a parent's worst nightmare. Until I heard her voice, I did, could not believe that she was actually alive. Grant's past man, Earl Hurst, says he just returned home from dinner on July 3rd when he got a call that his daughter, Dora Steed, was missing in the Gulf of Mexico about 60 miles north of Tampa, Florida. We are like two peas in a pod. He immediately took action, calling the sheriff's department and Coast Guard, who assured him they were searching. The Coast Guard told me that the chances of her survival was none. Steed, a Grants Pass High School graduate, lives in Florida. She went snorkeling with her husband on July 3rd when their boat drifted away and the two got separated. Was she sucked down? Was she eaten by a shark? Was she run over by a boat and the propeller cut her up? Uh, I mean, all these thoughts were going my, through my head. But Hurst says he held out hope, not knowing his daughter was literally hanging on for her life. In Florida, they use PVC pipe to indicate shallow water. And she happened to see this piling. And she swam to that piling and wrapped her legs and her arms around that piling and hung on. The tide was high and a storm forced crews to call off the search for the night, leaving Steed floating in shark infested waters. Lightning is hitting uh, eight to 10 feet from this piling that she's holding on to. And she's praying, oh God, you know, I survived the drowning. Now don't hit me with the lightning. But 18 hours later, Hurst's nightmare came to an end when a commercial captain spotted his daughter frantically waving for help. Yeah, this is a miracle. Praise God. A rescue and relief for a father whose worst fears almost became reality. In Grants Pass, Cassie Nelson, Fox 26 News.